Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This channel is called There Has To Be Something More and I am your humble host, Scott Moore. Uh, just thought I'd give you a little update today. So, if you all remember, when you arrive in Guatemala, you automatically get uh, 90 days as soon as you get here. Now, after 90 days or before the 90 days is over, uh, you have a choice you can go get an extension for another 90 days which you can either do through an attorney or uh, you can run up to Guatemala City and do it on your own uh, we're about four hours away from here we used an attorney honey would that cost hundred bucks each about a hundred dollars for each of us so no big deal we used an attorney we didn't want to wake up at two in the morning to go catch a bus to Guatemala City and take the whole day and have to get a babysitter for Sam and Roscoe. It was just super easy and we would do it the same way again. I mean, unless we were living in Guatemala City. If you're, if you're in Guatemala City and you can just go over to the immigration office, that'd probably be pretty easy. Um, so then you get another 90 days, which means you really get about six months. So before the six months is over though, then you either have to you, you have to get out of the country so you can go wherever you want to go as long as you get out of the country except you cannot go to a c4 country which is let me see if i remember it is guatemala nicaragua honduras and el salvador so you can run to belize you can run to mexico you can go to costa rica you can take a trip back to the u.s uh, anywhere outside of the c4 and then you can come back in and start the whole process over again. Um, living here in Shalo, we're about four hours away from the Mexican border. So <clears throat> after a little research and everything, uh, we've got a nice man that is going to drive us up to the border. He is going to wait uh, we're go we are going to leave Guatemala and go into Mexico. So we'll have our stamp showing that we left Guatemala. Uh, we'll have a stamp showing that we went into Mexico. And then, you know, we'll probably have lunch or something like that. And then talk to the nice people at immigration and say, you know, could you please let us back in? Uh, if they say yes, then we'll drive right back to Shayla. If they say no, then we will need to spend three days in Mexico. I mean, you have a lot of choices. We're, we'll probably, there's a little town close to there that we've heard is really kind of a cute little town called Tapachula. Um, so we'll probably just stay in Tapachula. You could run up. There's a lot of like micro buses that go from here up to San Cristobal de las Casas, which would be a great little trip. I think that's like eight hours, 10 hours, something like that. Um, so yeah, that will be our plan. We're going to do that in a couple weeks and I'll do a video and kind of report, let you know how that went. So that's kind of our next trip. By the way, um, as far as costs, uh, it shouldn't cost very much at the border. I mean, it shouldn't cost more than like $50 each. Um, but, uh, to get there and back. So it's four hours there, four hours back, and we might have to stay there for three days. So uh, our friend that's driving us, he may have to come all the way back to the border a second time. If we get back in that same day, then the charge will be 1200 Q. So uh, what does that work out to? That's uh, 1000 is about 130. So maybe $150. And that's for both of us. Um, if they do have to come back uh, three days later, then it'll be 2,000 Q, so about $260. And again, that's total. That's for both of us. Um, you know, what it'd be for one person, I'm not sure. But, you know, so that's an awful lot of driving. I mean, that's uh, 16 hours that he'd have to drive uh, in order to get uh, $260 total. So, you know, obviously a lot of that's just going to go to gas. Um, so that's what's going on here. It has been really, really rainy uh, for the last couple weeks. Uh, been raining almost every day in the afternoon. Now, yesterday was a great break. It was really nice and sunny. 
uh, almost the entire day. Today it looks good again. Uh, a little bit cloudy, but it uh, doesn't look like, uh, hopefully it's not going to be raining all day. The other announcement we have, and I will show you our new little, little friend. This, well, if I can get her up here. Where is she? Here she is with Roscoe. This is, well, probably, I'm not sure what her name is yet. Right now she's Puppy. <laughs> but uh, so Lydia and I, if I can get a glimpse over there she is. Lydia and I were walking to the gym and most street dogs here, Nicaragua, same deal. When you're walking down the street because we were very worried before we got to Nicaragua. Holy cow, you know, because we've had as many as six dogs before, and we thought, oh my gosh, we're going to end up adopting like a thousand street dogs. Turns out the street dogs, they've been, you know, they don't like humans, especially. They've been abused and mistreated, had rocks thrown at them, they've been starving, and most of them just run right by you. Now here, they're much better fed than they are in Nicaragua. I mean, you've, it's rare to see a really, really skinny street dog. Um, most of them, like you can't see the ribs on them. They've, they have food they get to in different ways. I mean, there's different people that feed them. Like we've seen, a, we've walked past a bakery and the lady was out like putting all the leftover bread there and all the street dogs were kind of gathering around. So I'm guessing that that's something that she does on a regular basis. So they know these different places where they can go and get food around the park. There's a lot of street vendors that are selling food. So they hang out there. Um, there's people that have like store owners. A lot of them have like water bottles, open kind of cut water bottles and they chain them to the front of their stores so nobody can take them and they just keep them full of water all the time. Uh, the street dogs also can go up in the park and there's fountains up there. So there's always water available for them. So it's not like it is when you see them in Nicaragua where there's just a bunch of really, really very sad skeleton dogs running around. But they just ignore you. They run right by you like you're invisible. Except last week. Lydia and I are on our way walking to the gym and all of a sudden we see this little puppy, little super skinny puppy and she runs right up to us wagging her tail just like you would expect a dog to do in the US and so we were like oh my gosh and she has these beautiful eyes and so we she just let us pick her up so we picked her up and we have a good friend named Alice that runs the Docs project dogs of Shayla D-O-X um, so shout out to Alice Alice if you're watching so we, Alice uh, has recently gotten some uh, donations and has been able to spay uh, and neuter 20 dogs. So I think we've done 10 so far, or she has done 10 so far. And we've been trying to help her when we can grab one. Uh, it's not easy to get one of these dogs and get a leash around it. And sometimes they are really upset when you get a leash around them. But uh, anyway, so we call Alice. We say, look, we've got this little tiny puppy. Uh, looks very young. Anyway, we get her over there. And after a little investigation, it turns out that um, this dog has already been spayed. And she's roughly eight or nine months old. Um, she's super sweet. Uh, just very, very skinny. But somebody was taking care of her. She was in somebody's house. Somebody took her to get spayed, and so she's used to being inside. She's about 95% housebroken, and um, so anyway, we were we had kind of limited choices at that point. It was like, okay, well, you know, she's already been spayed, so we can't do that for her, but we are working on getting her shots. We're taking her over to see Alice today, where she's going to get like rabies, parvo, all this, like the first of three series, I think. So she's going to be all set, but you know, our choices were kind of limited. Alice doesn't have room. She's got 15, 14, 15 dogs, and she's trying to get down to 12. Uh, we just, there was no way we were going to put this puppy out on the street, just dump her back out on the street again. So 
anyway uh, at this point we have her we are desperately looking for a home uh, so if you know anybody if they're in Shayla <laughs> if they're in the US and maybe we could figure out a way to get her there uh, if you're looking for a sweet little dog that will have all of her shots and has already been spayed and is very very close to being hundred percent housebroken uh, please let us know comment down below uh, but that's about what's going on here right now uh, we are uh, still doing our we're still going to the gym four days a week but we're also doing our 10,000 steps a day I have had a tremendous amount of uh, tech problems lately and been working trying to fix it with my beautiful daughter Christina thank you so much Christina I'm sure she thinks <laughs> that her dad is a technology pain in the butt but um, yeah we've had I've had problems with the the my iPhone I've had problems with my Apple watch which goes with my iPhone that counts my steps for me but so we're really into trying to get the steps the 10,000 steps done at least every day which is roughly about five miles I think so the fitness journey continues we're working with uh, the little puppy trying to get her all ship shape and she gets along fine now with Sam and Roscoe um, and we're gonna bring you that uh, little adventure up to the Mexican border and back real soon besides that everything here in Shayla is wonderful uh, raining a little too much lately but besides that it's still you know we just love it here so I hope y'all are having a great day if you are trying to figure out if you can retire if you're trying to get out of the rat race uh, if you're sitting there watching this in your cubicle at work uh, there are so many great places where the cost of living is really low quality of life is very high and this is one of them so don't know if Shayla is the, the right spot for you uh, but it could be so anyway uh, hope you're having a wonderful day and if you need an adventure remember there has to be something more